Once upon a time, in a faraway desert-like place in Texas, a Texana was born. This baby Texana was named Rosa. One night, while Rosa was sleeping, three hummingbirds flew in from the window. Hummingbirds were considered blessing birds. The first hummingbird had red feathers and blessed Rosa with beauty. The second hummingbird had green feathers and blessed Rosa with a beautiful voice. The third hummingbird had blue feathers and was about to bless Rosa when the evil, twisted black hummingbird entered the room, cursing her life by saying, On the day of Rosa's 15th birthday, she will prick her finger on a cactus thorn and die. Rosa's parents woke up from all the ruckus and noticed the four hummingbirds around Rosa and began to shoo them away without realizing what had happened. Later that night, they were awakened by a tapping sound on the window. The father got up and went to see what was causing all the noisy tapping. When he opened the window, the blue hummingbird flew inside the little house. The mom grabbed the broom and started swinging it up in the air, shouting, Shoo! Shoo, little hummingbird! full of frustration in her voice. Then, they heard the blue hummingbird begin to talk. Hey! I'm here to help you! The mother stopped swinging the broom around, and in amazement, she exclaimed, A talking hummingbird? So as the parents stood there perplexed, the blue hummingbird explained what had happened. As the blue hummingbird was coming to the end of its story, the parents' mood changed from perplexed to astonishment. The parents believed what the blue hummingbird had said because it was in their belief that birds are messengers from God. So the little blue hummingbird gave Rosa a special blessing to try and remedy the terrible, horrible curse that the evil, twisted black hummingbird gave. The blue hummingbird blessing was that Rosa will not die on her 15th birthday, but instead she will fall into a deep, wonderful slumber until awoken from a brave and noble cowboy. The parents were happy that Rosa wouldn't die, but at the same time they were filled with sadness with the fact that they wouldn't see her awake ever again. Out of rage, the father grabbed his machete and started to cut every cactus he could find, until he realized that cacti grow wild in the desert. So he made an oath to keep Rosa away from every cacti and told her to stay away from them. As the years passed, Rosa was both beautiful and had the voice of an angel. Now, it was her 15th birthday. Today was the moment of truth, the turning point in her and her parents' lives. Rosa was sweeping the front porch when she noticed something in the distance. Rosa decided to tell her mother she was going to be right back. Her mother replied, all right, Rosita, but don't be too long. Rosa quickly replied, I won't, mother. So Rosa ran to the object in the distance. As Rosa got nearer, the object slowly turned out to be the evil, twisted black hummingbird. The evil, twisted black hummingbird appeared to be injured with cactus thorns in its body. Rosa was a very kind girl, so she decided to help remove the cactus thorns off the mysterious black hummingbird before her. Rosa then remembered the words of her father. Now, Rosita, you have to stay away from any cactus thorns. She then stopped dead in her tracks. The evil and twisted black hummingbird started to cry out in agony. Oh, please, please, take these cactus thorns out of me. I'm in so much pain. Rosa fell back for the poor hummingbird and couldn't say no. She went for the first thorn and pricked her finger. Ouch! Suddenly, the sky turned gray and lightning struck. An evil laugh filled the air as Rosa fell into her eternal slumber. <laughs> the evil and twisted black hummingbird had won. Her parents and her neighbors were full of sadness. When all of a sudden, the three good hummingbirds appeared and saw how sad everyone was. They decided to bless the town 
with the same thing Rosa had, that they will all sleep until Rosa was awakened by a brave and noble cowboy. Many years passed, until one day a stray cowboy came into town and noticed everyone was fast asleep. He decided to investigate why everyone was asleep this early in the day. As he was looking around, he found a beautiful maiden laying in a bed of flowers. He noticed that on one of her fingers, it had a weird looking thorn in it, so he decided to pull it out. As soon as the thorn escaped Rosa's finger, she suddenly awoke, along with the rest of her town. Rosa's parents were so overjoyed to see Rosa awake and well again. The whole town cheered in celebration. Later that year, after a short courtship, Rosa and the noble cowboy married. Later on, they opened a cantina, which is now an icon in their town named Rosa's Cantina. The End